Okay, so this is in the key of B flat. Chords are B flat to E flat 9, down to D9 to G7. Then it hangs on C7 to a C minor 7, F7, and back to the second 8, which is the same as the first 8, only it resolves. Okay, the bridge, D7 to G minor, D7, G minor, D7, G minor, C7 to F7, and back to the last A section. So I started off with this little classic, it's a classic little jazz riff, two note jazz riff, but I kind of use that as the theme because, you see that? It works over both of the first two changes. Then I go down D seventh to G seventh, okay? D seventh. Okay, then over C seventh, these notes still work, right? You have your fifth and your seventh. Same on the C minor seventh. And then the F seventh, right? So. Once again, when you're on a five chord to a one chord, the blues works. The one chord blues always work. So you're always going to hear that throughout all of these solos. Please keep that in mind. Very important. Okay, the bridge. I started with chord tones. Just D, F sharp, A, landing on a G. And then I morphed into... You see that? Adding the flat nine, or the flat second, or the raised root, however you want to look at that. Right, and there's the long form. Now C7. There's a great little riff and position for any dominant starting on the third, third, fifth, flat seventh, and ninth. And then for the minor, it's another nice one over F seventh, the seventh, the flat nine, the third, and the thirteenth. Listen how nice that sounds together. And back to See how nice that sounds? So we're always getting back to that riff. Always getting back through the four choruses to that riff. I may have expanded a little. that riff in there now. Let's take a look at that, a closer look. If we're on D7 to G minor, especially in the minor, that flat 9 sounds like it belongs. Okay, basically what that is, technically, is a G harmonic minor scale. Only we're starting it on the D note. Right? And ending it on chord tones over D7 and chord tones when we hit the G minor. To the C7. And back to the riff. did that at one point too, I think. You see that? You could take the same note on two strings. It's kind of a cool little effect. Right? 
so you can fool around with that a little bit and in different octaves. <laughs> the bridge. Okay, starting on the third, right? Know what chord's coming up. C seventh is coming up, so I'm going to aim for that E note, because that's the third. All right, D seventh, G minor coming up. See that? So you always have to be aware of where you're going. And then pick a key chord tone to land on. All right, so that's the approach I took in this solo, just riff based, theme based. So you always have something to come back to. And therefore, it sounds like a real cohesive solo instead of just rambling on playing notes. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> 